What's up duelers, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to be playing the gauntlet. Actually, uh, we are going to be one of the first players of the gauntlet on this Wednesday, because I'm playing very, very late Tuesday night, or I guess it is Wednesday morning, I'm playing at 4.06 a.m. Eastern Time, from where I am, so it's very, very early in the morning, but I have not gone to sleep yet. I'll go to sleep after I make this video. So, what do I want to choose here? I guess Magmar, because that's what most people say is the best in um, Gauntlet. I hate to do another, I think my last two Gauntlet videos on this channel were Magmar as well. I hate to do that again, but I want to win. I play to win. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to do the draft on camera, and then do the uh, first game or two, depending on how long uh, the first game takes. So, first we have some rare cards to choose from. Unstable Leviathan. It's already your turn to have 4 damage or random in your general. That's kind of cool. It's not that good though. Because random could hit, hurt yourself. Whenever you replace a card, deal 2 damage or random enemy in your general. That's cool. Skywing, flying, your other minions with flying cost. I think, uh. Actually, I'll take the Unstable Leviathan. I was gonna take the White Widow, but. I don't know, I think it really needs like a more replace deck, kind of. Uh, Veteran Silithar is a very solid 4 drop. Also, I might sound louder today than usual, because my microphone is like right here in front of my face in this room. So, sorry if it's too loud, I hope uh, it's not too bad. Uh... These two are not that good, so I think I'm just going to take Death Blighter, which is not amazing. Six mana. Uh, it's like a pseudo uh, Holy Emulation kind of card. Kajada. I can play some cheaper things with that. Alcuin Lore Master is decent as well, as is Sworn Avenger, but I think Kajada. Kajada? I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, we got a legendary l line. Lady Lock, pretty bad, legendary. Eeksoon, force field. Whenever this minion attacks or attack, draw a card. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I want 5-5 five, five for 7 though. I think Dark Nemesis, I've seen this card being played before. At the start of your turn, deal 4 damage to the enemy general and this minion gains plus 4 attack. Yeah, so basically you play this and the, the, uh, the opponent has to somehow deal with it. So I kind of like that. Um... I don't know, I mean, these don't seem like very good cards. I'll just take the 6 drop. Because this is like, okay, 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, ability. I mean, I don't like this card that much. But I like the more than the other two. I need some lower drops. This could be effective. Windstopper probably won't be. And or do I just take the Bright Moss Golem? It's not like we're playing Lion or we're going to have Divine Bonds, so I'll take the Tremor could be useful. Okay, more legendaries. Twin Fang. Whenever a friendly minion in your general takes damage, your general gains plus two attack. That can add up to a lot of damage. Golem Languisher. Your other golems have... Okay, well, I need a lot, a lot of golems to make that work. And Spell Jammer. Um, so far, this doesn't seem like a very, very aggressive deck that I'm going to be running out of cards in the early game with. Because I actually don't even have that many... I have mostly big drops here, so I will take the Twin Fang. Which could do a lot of damage. Uh, Spirit Harvester is a fine 5 drop. Tethermancer. Spell any minion that deals damage to this one. Um, I think I'll take the Egg Morph though. It's almost a great removal for for Magmar. Um, Spirit Harvester. Okay, I need a lower curve though. I need some lower drops. I'm going to take the Primer Shield Master. It's a solid 4 drop with Provoke. Uh, natural selection, definitely um, great removal. One of the best removal cards in the game, in my opinion. Because when the board's empty, you could destroy like a seven mana uh, minion with your two mana spell. Uh, what's this? Kinetic equilibrium. Deal two damage to all minions in a three by three area. Or do I take the Azure Horn Shaman? That's tough. I think I'll take the Shaman. I mean, Kinetic Equilibrium? I 
I'll take this instead. I don't really like it. I don't really like that two drop. Hopefully we find some two drops that we can. All right, another veteran Silithar. Okay, we have four drops. We have seven drops. Um, I've never seen this card. Ghost Links. Teleport a nearby minion to random space. So similar to like Hearth Sister, but worse stats. Um, I'll take another natural selection. Can't have too many of those, I don't think. Okay, now we got a tough choice here. Plasma Storm is great. Uh, great removal. Repulsor Beast. A solid three drop for moving things away. And Adam Insight Claws, another solid art artifact. I think I have to take the Plasma Storm though because my deck is not very aggressive. Um, you see, most of my minions so far actually have more than three attack. So, Plasma Storm would hurt him more than it hurts me as it stands. Okay, so now we have a solid two drop Healing Mystic staple card in a lot of decks. Not a stable card, but it can be used in a variety of decks. Um, and I don't have any 3 drop minions, so I guess I'll take the Earth Walker here. Although Adamite Tight Claws would be kind of good, but I want to help my curve a little bit, so Earth Walker is a fine 3 drop, I guess. And here we get a Young Silithar, a solid 2 drop. Um, Elucidator. You never know when you need that 5 attack rush. Another healing mystic. Um, Earth Sphere can heal up really quickly. Another Plasma Storm, or whenever a friendly minion dies, this turn draw a card. I'll take another Plasma Storm. So we have two of those. Recently, we did get a lot of uh, smaller creatures, though, so it's not quite as in our favor anymore. Um, Saber Swine Tiger, very versatile. Another three drop, too, good for the curve. Sun Elemental. Opening it up two random enemy minions plus two health. That's kind of cool, but you want more three drops and Storm of Wrath, I don't really like six five flying for six. Doesn't seem that worth it, right? Blaze Hound though. Um I never love this card because it seems like both players draw a card, so it's not always only helping you, but it's a three drop and it's I've seen it used, so it can't be that that bad. Another Primus Shield Master. Tremor, I already have a Tremor, or Dire Tide Frenzy, go friendly man plus one attack and Frenzy, that's a tough choice, I kind of like the surprise factor of Dire Tide Frenzy, but I am only at 16 minions now, yeah I'm only at 16 minions and I'm only going to draft 5 more cards, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Promise Shield Master, I have too many spells I think, a lot of spells so... We're gonna try to take as many minions as possible now. Bounded Life Force, Chaos Elemental, or Twilight Sorcerer. Put a, cop put a copy of a random cell you cast this game into your action bar. It's a 5 drop. Only have one 5 drop unit. You know, I've seen people play Chaos Elemental in like S rank, but I don't really know what's the great what's so great about it. Okay, it's 4-4 four, four for 3, which I guess is good, but then its ability makes it seem so not good, you know? I don't know, for some reason I don't like it. Um, I'm going to take it because it fits my curve. Because I'm a little low on 3 drops, but and 5 drops actually, but I'll take it. And it has over 3 attacks, and that's important considering I have 2... Uh, uh, plasma storms and also makes a difference for natural selection too because more attack means higher chance I don't have the smallest thing on the board um, I don't really like anything here but I'm gonna take the minion yeah I'll take a minion actually do I just take dance of dreams yeah, sure. I really don't like these minions, so we might have a deck with very, very short on minions. Mm, don't love this. How many? How many? Um, two drops. We have one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, I'll take the Skyrock all. Not very good, but Putrid Dreadflare doesn't seem very good either, and I already have two seven drops. I don't need a third with the Dragonbone Golem. Okay, 
And last but not least, what's this? Open gamma will lower the cost of all spells in your action bar by one. We do have a lot of spells that could be important or White Widow. Um, how many three drops do I have? One, two, three, four. How many four drops do I have? One, two, three. Three of those. Uh, I'll take the four drop White Widow. Actually, I have a lot of removal. Maybe I'll take the. No, I'll take the White Widow. Okay, we have an interesting deck here. And now we have to decide what Magmar Drone really want to choose. Um, what better fits this kind of deck? Um. I think I'm gonna go with. I don't love either of the journals. I think I'll go with Vath the Immortal. I don't know. I feel like his spell bar is just stronger than Starhorn's because you're not helping the opponent as well as yourself. You're just helping yourself this way. Okay, so it took 11 minutes to do that draft and build my deck. School other people awake at this hour. I mean, this person might not be living anywhere near where I am though so decent chance it's not 4 17 a.m. for them and that was actually a really uh, really solid mulligan there on those two cards because now I can play a first turn something do I play a first turn Kajada or Young Silithar that's a tough choice Kata my minions two take, do take one damage when, they, when, I, when they're summoned but that means that next turn I'm going to have 3 mana to 4 mana. That's actually a tough choice. I'm going to actually play the Kajada. I'm going to play it. Let's get rid of the early Elucidator. I don't think it's going to be that worth it. I don't know if you, what giant thing he's going to play early on. So Kuhada. And your turn. The reason I decided to do that instead of the Young Silithar is because Young Silithar, things with Rebirth might not be great against Abyssian. Abyssian Swarm, uh, mind you, because of all the little Wraithlings and like one attack things like that that can just destroy eggs very easily. And now I can play a lot of things. So... Unfortunately, I don't think I have a way to destroy this Veil Hunter. I could try, but I don't think I have a way to do that. I might play the Earthwalker. I don't need to play Healing Mystic just yet. Maybe Earthwalker. Hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill the wings of Mixer. I don't think. Let's do this. Let's run away here. Let's move up. And now I can. I have a total of five mana I can use. So let's just do this and this. No, I don't have five mana I can use. I have five mana if I do a. Okay, I'll do it like this. Ah, screw it. Um, I don't know if that was the right play. That took me a really long time to do that turn. It was very... It, was, I, it got a little difficult at the end there, like, realizing how many things I can play. Well, well, well. That Veil Hunter kind of worries me, so hopefully I'm going to be able to destroy it next turn. Darn. 
So that's gonna probably go. Okay, interesting. Wait, does he get the mana spring from that? No, right? I don't think so. Yeah, that's what I said about the Veil Hunter could just snipe eggs pretty easily. And I don't want to attack this uh, Wings of Exor with my Kajada because I'm only down to one health, which would be so easily sniped by his Veil Hunter. Well, Dark Nemesis. The earlier we can play that, the better. I'm going to hold on to that. Um, I have... I guess he played it on this Menace Spring, so I couldn't get it next turn. That kind of makes sense. I'll get rid of the Earthwalker. Although, it could be kind of good here. Nah, I kind of like this. Let's get rid of the Earthwalker. Um, and then I will... Actually, move back with my Kahada. I'm gonna kill this because why not? Hopefully, there's no nothing I have to really worry about here. Play this, heal this up, I guess, and then play another Primus. And next turn, I'll be able to play more stuff. Wow, this Kahata really lets you play a lot of things very, very easily. I definitely want to keep the Kahata around so I can play my Dark Nemesis one turn early. Turn after next, and then it can start dealing lots of damage. So I think I have a very strong um, presence on the board. What is this? I deal two damage to all units on the board. Really? Deal two damage to all enemy minions or sorry, all friendly minions to do health. That's a cool card. Oh, but it's gonna take longer to play that. Oh, it actually gonna be even. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be very soon. No, I can't play it for a couple turns, so well. Let's get rid of the Tremor. Plasma Storm. Not what I want to do just yet. Maybe. So I'll do that Bloodborne spell. Okay, I'm just gonna go for face damage here. Because I'm just gonna bank on playing my Plasma Storm next turn. So hopefully he's gonna just. He's my uh, veteran Selethar is gonna survive a plasma storm. And the following turn, I can play Dark Nemesis. I can't really afford to play multiple things for a turn because I'm low on cards. Okay. Very well. Now play things with three or less attack. Okay, that's not the realist attack. Okay. Well, I guess we're not plasma storming. Healing Mystic. I will play the Blaze Hound. I'll kill on to the Plasma Storm. Play the Blaze Hound. Dance of Dreams. Well, that can be replaced. Natural Selection. Well, I can give you more attack. Do I just Natural Selection this? Any minute with the lowest attack or tied to the lowest attack. No, I don't think it's worth it. I think I should save that card. Let's deal 4 damage here. So next turn... Oh, here's a big drop, but... Next turn I can either probably clear his board by playing Plasma Storm and Lateral Selection because uh, that would destroy all the minions with less than 3 health. 
less than three attack, and then I can play natural selection on the remaining bigger thing. Actually, then this thing might be the remaining bigger thing then. Okay, that's gonna heal us both up a little bit. Okay, since he didn't play a big, okay. I guess I'm gonna play Dark Nemesis then, and I will get rid of the Plasma Storm now because yeah, and I'm just gonna let this survive for a little bit. It's not a huge deal. Take four damage on my general. I'm not sure where I want to put this. I don't want it to die yet, so I might not go that aggressive with it. I'll put it back over here. That way, it's not that easy for him to hit it, but... I don't want to put it in the corner because it's going to end up amassing a really high attack. If it survives. So, there's a lot of pressure on uh, Koic right now that... This, this Dark Nemesis needs to be dispelled or... Somehow. Somehow taken care of. So I top decked an Elucidator... I have options. Natural selection, first sword. Oh, I did not. I was not playing around a shadow creep there. Didn't think of that because I'm playing. Um, yeah, I didn't think of that, like being someone he would play, because I'm playing the swarm general. But I guess in Gauntlet, the decks can be different. Okay. So you'll go down, and now, now I wish I had my Plasma Storm. That was bad that I replaced it before. Uh, I'll get rid of the Earth Walker. So let's see. Let's kill this. And I'll kill this. Then I'll destroy this with my thing there. And then I'm gonna destroy my, my first sword of a crane. Unfortunately, I don't get to play a uh, my Bloodborne spell, which would have been pretty good. And I'm a little afraid now that. Uh, Koic could possibly have more, more uh, shadow, uh, shadow novas, but it's hard to play around that. Oh, I'm tired. It's very, very late at night or early in the morning. Okay. When you're doing after that, he. It has to have some kind of counter for this. This is going to keep hitting him for 4 damage every turn. Well, I think I, yeah, I win. Okay. Well played, sir. I have the Elucidator for the win. Something I actually do now is I don't say well played when I'm the one to win unless my opponent says it first. Yeah, there's five gold for you, it was a good game. Um, because I actually said well played once, just out of habit, because from Scrolls I always end games with GGWP. So I said well played at the end of winning a match once and, and some guy, like, he flipped out on me, like, he uh, friended me and then started talking to me and bashing me about, like, bad manners. And I was a little confused, so I asked him why, like, he was so mad, but he said that it's common common courtesy not to be the first one to say well played when you're the one who won. So I'll try to remember not to do that. Because I don't want to piss people off. Uh, we're at 25 minutes. What the hell? Let's play another game. Probably, wouldn't be, probably shouldn't be playing another game here. 
Um, don't need that very, very soon. And am I going first or second? I'm going first. I don't need this yet. Actually, just in case there's nothing. Oh, that's actually really tough to choose. I'll replace that. Okay. Yeah. Don't really know why I started this match. This is going to end up being probably around a 40 minute video then. Oh well. More matches for you guys. Okay, we don't need this anytime soon. Play the young Silithar and pass our turn. So next turn I can play Blaze Hound or Saber Spine Tiger. Hopefully he plays nothing, then Blaze Hound would be a perfect play because he would have too many cards in his hand. And he wouldn't draw a card from it. Looks like he has a play though. Crimson Oculus. Whenever opponent summons a man this many gains one one. So it can become a three four so I can't kill the Sabers on Cyber Tiger, unfortunately. Um Well, I guess I'm playing I kinda like my hand. I guess I'll get rid of the Death Lighter right now. Uh I'll grab the mana spring. Now let's play the veteran Solithar. At least that will have enough damage to destroy the Crimson Oculus. Plasma Storm is pretty good. Next turn, because this is gonna have three attack or less if I as long as I don't want to play a minion first. Well actually I can't even afford Plasma Storm. I'd have to get lucky and be able to grab this mana spring with my general, which is not that likely. Teleport in my minutes around his face. Interesting, moving it there. I guess just to protect that. I think that's what he was trying to do. Maybe uh maybe Plasma Storm will will work out pretty well. It's not like a super effective play, but I'm kind of afraid of this Crimson Oculus. I wanna I wanna get rid of it as soon as I can. I'd love if he played another small drop here. He did not. Okay, well, well, I'll get rid of Skyrock Column. Okay, Egg Morph now. Now, I might not Plasma Storm. Just because I know that when this thing gets really big, I can just Egg Morph it. So, yeah, that might be a better play. Is that what I want to do, though? Well, actually, Plasma just draw a minute to three or less attack. This is going to get an egg anyways. You know what? Let's save the egg. Let's save the egg more for pieces. He's getting into the middle rounds. He might play something big, so I will actually play the Plasma Storm. So I'll attack this first because it's gonna die. Plasma storm kills all those dudes, and unfortunately there is an egg, and he's gonna be able to destroy the egg next turn rather easily. But who knows? Maybe he'll need his to attack for something else on his general. Maybe I should have just ran away with my uh, little dude, my little young Silithar. He ended up dealing two damage to his general. And I did miss the opportunity to play my Bloodborne spell last turn. But I can play it this turn, come out with one of my four drops. Fire Blazer. Well, that hurts. Um. Except I'm gonna egg morph it. <laughs> I feel so evil for the egg morph. I will get rid of Saber Spine Tiger, maybe. Or should I get rid of Blaze Hound? 
Natural selection. Oh, I don't have the smallest thing, so that's not going to really help right now. Let's egg morph. Let's give our journal more attack. Deal three damage to his face and destroy the egg. Okay, we are looking good. Next one we'll have six mana. We have the control the board and more health than our general. We have the same mana cards as our opponent, Mystique. Man, my jaw's getting tired of talking. Probably shouldn't record this late, but that's because I have been away a lot recently. Um, I haven't as much time the past few days because of, like prom and graduation. Yes, I'm graduating, going to college next year. Uh, and that forced me to not have as much videos in the queue, and I actually have to record a video. The I guess this is technically the day that it's going to come out. It's going to come out and probably upload it around 10 hours from now. Um, Spirit Harvester I like beats that would kill the Phalanx are at the end of the turn. So I want to play that and I'll replace my Chaos Elemental. Just get Spirit Harvester and Overload so Overload you move into Unfortunately it does it at the end of the turn, so I'm not gonna be able to get a big hit on the general this turn. I will kill his repulsor beast. And then I spirit harvester. It does hit my minion over here though, but he's so far away from the battlefield. Very well the game could be over before um that veteran Silithar is relevant again. Next turn. Alright, Colossus. Well, that Colossus is not very threatening right now because he put in a place where I can deal a lot of damage to it next turn. And it's only going to be attacking with one attack back. I could actually just destroy it with the natural selection right now. He's only his one attack. And then I'd be able to do more damage to his general. I guess that's worth it, just so I don't have to. Is it, should I do that? I mean, I don't know. Get rid of Chaos Elemental, I guess. Unstable Leviathan. I kind of like that card. I'm going to play that instead. Or I could just play these two. Now we're gonna we're gonna make this fun. Unstable Leviathan. Which right now I have more things on the board than my opponent, so there's a higher chance of it hurting me than it hurting him. Maybe that wasn't the smartest idea. But now there's this giant creature that my opponent can't uh, really ignore. Because one hit from that would do oh that nullifies that thing. Is he not going to destroy it? Oh, I forgot he had that thing to destroy it. Whoops. Okay. So I can deal 5 damage with my general to his general and then another 3, that would be 8. He's 1 damage left. First order, if I could play a first order Akron on that turn as well, I'd be able to win the game. Because then my Sarah Sun Tiger would have plus one attack, but we can't have it all, can we? Let's get rid of the Blaze Hand. I have more cards than him. I don't want him drawing too many. Uh, I guess I'll overload. And I guess this, this veteran does nothing else to do but destroy this. 
Okay, maybe we'll respawn. Now I can do a four and a three or a seven drop. I think it's better to do a four and a I'm just gonna do the four. Save my surprise, Saber Spine Tiger. Oh, Earth Sphere, so. As long as Mystique doesn't have some crazy three card combo that I do not see coming and win the game this coming turn, I'm basically uh, very safe next turn. If I can't win, I could just play the Earth Sphere and I'll be up to 22 health probably. Well played. So, oh, only 36 minute video, so not too bad for a gauntlet video. And that's great, going 2-0 oh in the video. So uh, hopefully I get some big rewards from this because I'm trying to get more spirit and gold to create more decks. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time.